In a heartfelt ceremony held at the Bamwe Hotel in Abadil Freetown, a group of black Americans tracing their ancestry to Sierra Leone through DNA testing received a warm welcome, marking a significant moment of reconnection with their roots. The event, which took place on Tuesday, 26 November 2024, was filled with cultural significance and emotional resilience, celebrating the shared heritage and history between the two nations. The ceremony featured an electrifying performance by the Sierra Leone dance troupe captivated the audience with vibrant traditional dance. Guests filled with excitement and joy joined in showcasing their dance moves and celebrating their cultural ties with Sierra Leone. This joyful interaction highlighted the spirit of unity and belonging that permitted the event. As part of the ceremony, a libation point ritual was performed, honoring the ancestors and symbolizing the reconnection of the guests with their heritage. This ritual, stepped in tradition, serves as a augment reminder of the enduring bond that link the descendants of Sigalunians to their ancestors. In interviews following the ceremony, attendees expressed their elations at returning to their ancestral home. Many spoke about the profound sense of identity and belonging they felt upon discovering their Sierra Leonean roots. This is not just a visit, it is a homecoming, they remarked, expressing gratitude for the opportunity to learn more about their heritage. The visitors also shared their aspiration for the future, emphasizing their commitment to contribute positively to Sierra Leone's development. They discussed various areas where they hope to make an impact, including agriculture, education, health, sanitation, and trade. So we have connections to this continent, our continent, our home, and I just wanted to reclaim as much of that as possible. They tried to take our culture from us and our sense of self and everything else. And what we are saying is we're taking it back. What you intend uh, in, this, in the scriptures in um, Genesis chapter 50, verse 20, when Joseph meets with his brothers after their father has died and they're afraid he's going to kind of deal with them because they sold him into slavery, etc. But now he's prime minister of Egypt, second in power only to Pharaoh. And he said, y'all don't have to worry about that because what you intended for evil, God has used for good for a time like this and for me to help save lives. And so even though we have been gone, it is the season to come home and to pour into our brothers and sisters and reestablish community, find out about who we are really beyond you know, what they teach or misteach in the United States. And this partner, partner with you, we're not coming here as a savior. Y'all know a whole lot more about your country than we do, but we want to be a partner to work together for, uh, to build, rebuild Sierra Leone. And since being here, uh, it's, it's been very humbling, somber. Um, you know, something as small as, hello, my brother, that's, that, that goes far, at least for me. Uh, I'm from Texas, in, in, in the U.S. Um, you know, black people make up 13% of the population, and I don't know what our population is in Texas, but you don't see too many of us. So you don't really get embraced. But here, I walk around, I look like everybody, everybody looks like me, my brothers, my sisters, and it's beautiful, it, it, it's beautiful. It, I can't express in words how I feel when I'm the first person in my family in over 400 years to be back home. That, I can't express how that feels. Um, it's over, it's, it's, I don't want to say it's an overwhelming feel, feeling, but in a manner of speaking, it is an overwhelming feeling because you're just like, wow, I never even thought that this would be possible. I never knew that I would learn my, my, my true identity as, 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 a, as a Sierra Leonean or even be in Sierra Leone. And now I'm here. So basically, on the front of the t-shirt, you have scattered puzzle pieces. And on the back of the t-shirt is the different puzzle pieces um, being brought together in the uh, shape of Sierra Leone. So basically, 
let's face it, when slavery came about and we were taken from here, they never meant for us to come back. They never meant for us to be able to trace our lineage back here. That, that was on purpose. And so for us to be able to be scattered all around and still have our ancestors walking with us and to bring us back to this home, um, I think that that's what that means to me, to put back, to remember. On the front it says remember. So basically we're asking you to put back that which was broken. So if we're sitting here and we don't have uh, basic necessities, like everybody else where I come from in America has, right? We come back to, 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 to fix that. How do we fix that? We're home now. How can we at the ground level, how can we fix that? The feeling is like being reunited with long lost family. You know, when sometimes people have stories of, of being adopted um, by somebody else other than their biological family, and they've not met anybody that they are biologically related to, and then they get older and they find their family, and it's just an overwhelming sense of belonging. So that's the feeling. The feeling is an overwhelming sense of belonging to this land, to this place, and to the people of Sierra Leone. So the biggest thing first, um, you know, there's something that we say that we cannot elevate the economic or social status of anybody without elevating their consciousness first. So the first thing to help to assist is programs that help us understand the value of being an African person, the value of looking at ourselves in the mirror and seeing divinity and seeing God when we look at ourselves in the mirror. So once we understand that the divine is in us and we approach the issues, the challenges in education, when a child looks at themselves and says, hey, I am a divine person. I don't want to change my hair. I don't want to change my skin. I don't want to change the way I dress. And then we educate them on economics or we educate them on agriculture or in any other sector. They do it in such a way that always benefits the whole community because once an individual understands and takes pride in themselves, they take pride in their community and in their land and in their country. And then they take pride in Africa as a whole. The ceremony marked a significant step in strengthening ties between Sierra Leone and the African diaspora, showcasing the importance of heritage, identity, and collaboration for the brighter future. As the guests prepare to explore their ancestral land further, the hope remains that this reconnection will foster lasting relationship and mutual growth between Sierra Leone and its descendants. For Star TV News in Freetown, George Elliott Sam reporting.